morning students welcome to my class so now i am moving on to the next chapter our module 2 the module 2 belongs to chapter of loaders and link in this chapter you know first chapter you learn about assembler and how the assembler will work and how the source program the source program will be when is input for the assembler the assembler will convert the program into object code. Now, this will be studied in the previous chapter. Now, how the object code can be executed by using the loader and linker. Now, object code is ready. Object program is also ready. That will be given to a loader for the memory for execution of the program. What are the algorithms? What are the data structures? And the belongs for loading and link for your sub program that will be studied in this chapter. Okay, then it is this chapter 2 discussing about brings the object code for execution, relocating, modified the object program so that it can be loaded at an address different from the location originally specified. The linking the combines two or more separate object program. This is still studied in the chapter 2. In the chapter 3, we will discuss about the topic of now what is loader? You get a common question what is loader? A loader brings an object program into memory and starting its execution. What is linker? The linker performs the linking operation and separate loader to handle relocation and loading okay for this chapter again you should be studied about these other topics the first topic is the same as assembler the basic loader function what is the loader function the basic load into memory and what are the machine dependent loader features what are the machine dependent features and the same thing the machine independent loader feature after that, you come to the next topic is loader design options for the different types of design. And finally, you take an example for one or two implementing an example. You can I take an example for a loader for implementing those things? Okay, these are the five topics for the models two for only one chapter. It is for the top chapter name is loader and linker. The complete chapter is theory. There is no problems on that. But you have some algorithms. We practice those algorithms, don't confuse. And in this chapter, you refer your old question paper. I uploaded the question paper in my Google site. The basic, the same questions are repeatedly are getting. For those question paper, if you are prepared, then it's enough for, for getting the marks for module 2. Okay, in this we get, then what is the object program combined? Contains the translated instruction and data values from the source program and specified address in the memory where these are loaded. I just have explained what is loading and what is relocation and what is linking even more but what is loader? Loader is a system program that performs the loading function. Many loaders also support relocation and linking. You already learned about the relocation program relocation. Wherever you have extended format you need to Relocation by using modification record. We don't forget the program relocation and don't forget any topic from the previous assembler. The same concept we are also repeated in different way. That we should learn properly about the assembler chapter. Then you can study for the loader. Many loader I told the some of the systems have a linker to perform the linking operation and uh, separate the loader to handle relocation and loading for that duration. In most cases, all program translator as a particular for object program in the same format. Okay. The next one, what is the basic loader function? In this topic, this is the common question in the exam, you will get it. One is the most fundamental functions of a loader brings an object program into memory and starting its execution. Okay, it is the common function. This function can be done by using the two different ways. This the basic loader function can be divided into two topics. 
that one is design of an absolute loader and design of a bootstrap loader. The design of an absolute loader is that whatever the address is mentioned in the program, for example, that it is copy start thousand. In the same thousand location, my program will be executed. While executing, what are the algorithm will be contained? You know, only the loader will execute the program. Before you are loading, then how the algorithm works? It can be done by using absolute loader. Then another one is topic in this one, a design of bootstrap loader. The bootstrap loader will be learnable. When you switch on your system, always you will get a message booting. The booting is nothing but a bootstrap loader will execute the program. The bootstrap loader will be executed in the program. What are the algorithms are involved in that program? That can be studied in this. The topic is basic loader function. Let me start for the first one is design of an absolute loader. The design of an absolute loader here. The absolute loader, whatever the function we are using in the program. For this one, see, the same figure 3.1, 3.2. 3.1, 3.2 is nothing but you studied in that the same SIC machine algorithm. The absolute loader is working for your SIC machine. Bootstrap loader is working for SIC or XE machine. For that, we are learning. For this is the basic absolute design program. Let me explain by step by step. See, the design of absolute program in your object program is contained. The same program I am taking. Okay, this is the this is the object program. This object program is written in the previous assembler algorithm. For assembler algorithm for SIC machine is written. A head header, copy and uh, length and name of the program. There's so many text headers, so many and uh, we don't want all those things. Have you written this? You know it. So this is this you have an object program that will be loaded into your memory. For loading, what are the things will be remember? How will this happen? I just I'm considering this one. We know how to load in the memory that content figure is also known. Okay, this is your memory address. In this memory, the XX indicates the result space one. Now my program is starting from which location? Thousand location. From the thousand, our object code is loaded into the memory. Okay, after loading, for example, the XX for the reserve space. Again, if I read record and write record, the complete program is loaded in this program loaded. Okay, your task is how this object program is loaded into your program for memory content. Okay. Okay. Now I have object program. That object program should be loaded into your memory. For loading, what are the steps you are considering? See, for the example, for loading, let me see that point what we have written. Okay. So this, this is an object program. I am loading to the memory. So because of loader does not know to perform such operation as linking and program relocation. Only should be loaded on the object program. So you have a header record. is checking for the correct program. Text record. How it contains object code. And end record contains for your ending address where to be loaded. Okay. That, this is for your figure A. What is figure B? That is for figure B. The figure B shows the representation of the program from figure A. After loading, I am loading to the memory. It should be look like this. Okay. The contents of the memory location, which are now, there is no text record. You represented access. You know it already in the previous topic. This indicates that previous content of these locations remains unchanged. Now, how I am object program will load into the memory. Then what is the algorithm behind? That is called algorithm for absolute loader. Okay, this is an algorithm here we are using. Okay, see now I am using the algorithm. Okay, this algorithm it's called algorithm for absolute loader in exam for five marks. Write an absolute loader algorithm. This absolute loader algorithm is to write the object program into memory for execution. What is the steps? Okay, begin. Read header record. You have header record. Verify the program name and length. You know the name and program length from the header record. Then read the first text record. After reading, you can check while well, the record type is not equal to end. 
if it is true then begin if object code is in character form convert into internal representation you already do the move object code to specified location in the memory you know the memory address there you are moving and read the next object program record then end till while not equal to end you are doing these steps continuously then jump to address specified in the end record and now it is end if this is the common name you know how it is happened the same things just you are representing that pseudo code form an algorithm for absolute loader yeah, this you should be remember after this then what happens let me start okay this for algorithm you are reading each whatever you read for each printed character represent one hexa decimal digit in a memory that means if you read my object code for program is for example my object code for the program is 14 let me see my object program for the program is for 1 4 this while loading this is your object code 1 4 is my object code while loading this object code into my memory each character each letter will be read as a character how does each letter be read as a character when it is read as a character it will take one byte but that the same byte can i have to convert into what half byte that would be do it say let me see stl 14 it requires two bytes in the memory why it is two bytes because each letter will be taken as the each printed character represent one hexadecimal digit in the memory then in this instruction as loaded for the execution this operation code must be stored in a single byte with hexadecimal value of 14 actually it takes two bytes but after reading two bytes, again there is a conversion will be done by using that loader and making as a single byte operation. This method representing object programming inefficient in terms of both space and execution. Therefore, that most of the machines store object program in binary form. Instead of storing that hexadecimal and hexa value only, it should be stored in what binary form with each byte of object code stored in a single byte in the object program. Otherwise, you take what? Two bytes. Instead of wasting of two bytes for the each object code, then you take a single byte if it's stored in a binary form. So in this type of representing byte may contain a binary value. Then the object program stored in binary form do not lend themselves when printing or reading by human values. But you are not shown it in the, any of the object program. But internally it has happened as a binary representation of those things. Okay, let me see in the exam you will get how to write an absolute boot, absolute loader. What is an algorithm? How to load into the memory? You will get the common question. The function of loader is we should write absolute loader. That's a one question. Okay. Next move on to the next another loader.